Approximately 4 million Canadians are living with disabilities and approximately 2 million of those Canadians live here in Ontario. Connect for Life is a charity based in Peel and they're hosting their first bowl-a-thon here to raise funds to support their programs. Bowling and raising awareness, the perfect combination. So this is the first year that you guys are doing this. What made you guys come up with this idea for the Bowlathon? Actually, Mark Brown, our fundraising director, came up with the concept. And of the board thought it was a great idea. And we thought it was something different we hadn't tried before. And it's active. You know, it's all right about being active. And our clients are really excited about it. And it's accessible. So why not give it a try? Yeah, a lot of fun. We're trying to bring out competition. No focus on abilities. So I think it's going to be a very interesting day. We don't know who's going to take out the trophy, you know? For the Connect for Life charity, what is what is that charity? I know it's very new. What is what is the backstory of that charity for you guys? So I started Connect for Life. We incorporated in 2012 because I had a stroke when I was 21. And I was said everybody said to me, you're disabled. You need to stay home. And I said, what are you talking about? I'm 21. I have my whole life ahead of me. I can't let my disability get in the way. My passion is education and training because I'm a teacher. and the first legally blind teacher to graduate in Ontario. And that's a huge thing for me. And I think everybody has the right to education and training to explore their abilities and the possibilities. Participants were more than happy to come out and take part and show their support. Uh, we have a business down in Port Credit right near Connect for Life. So we're, we like to support our local communities. They are great to us and we are great back. We're a Thursday morning networking uh, business group and Joshua Watson is in our group and he told us all about the event and uh, we said yeah let's sign up and uh, let's come out and some even decided to make it a little more interesting actually there's a wager between the two teams yeah i'm not sure exactly what happens to the losing team but um, we have some sort of wager yeah. yeah afternoon was filled with great fun auction prizes to bid on and even a top team trophy to win but in all that the organizers still wanted to make sure the message of the event was not lost on their guests what is it that you want participants and people here to take away from this event with Connect for Life? Well, pretty much our mission overall is to just take the dis out of disability, and that's what we're trying to show here. So anyone can bowl, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to be limited um, in your ability. So we just want to give people the chance to come out, have fun, and then do something great for a great cause. When it comes to education or even play and fun, people with disabilities, we get out there, and we're just like everybody else. We want to raise a little hell, have some fun, and be part of, of all the little things that go on in our community. Back for Life, how is it that people can learn more about you guys and get more in touch with you guys? You know, we're doing a lot of great work for people in the community that have disabilities. And if you want to get in touch with us, you can visit our website at uh, www.connect4life.ca or voicesforability.com. Support, anybody wants to get involved volunteering, by helping us by making some donations you know it's not just events like this but ongoing we're always looking for support from the community and just to create awareness about what work we're doing connect for life is doing great work and to get involved and to find out more visit their website connect the number four life.ca in mississauga akila prendas rogers tv Downstairs.